Hey everybody. I'm in bed recording in the dark and I have a lot of thoughts in my mind I wanted to share and uh, this is my second channel. I knew it was probably going to get deleted because I just kept getting attacked from YouTube already and um, I, it was an older video too that they got me for so I don't know when they figure stuff out or like it's not obviously right when you post it but sometimes it is I mean I just don't know how their AI uh, whatever there's so many terms that people use for these beings these entities whatever I don't really care I mean the terminology it's just there's so much there's so many acronyms for things, too. I've kind of, like, just kind of over all of that. But I'll just speak plain Jane to you guys. Um, so I was... So I've lost all my former people that I were subscribed to me. And I've lost... You know, I mean, everybody who goes to this would understand this. This is the way it is. But I, I'm going to actually um, start doing... Have a couple videos or a couple channels made... So that if one of mine gets deleted in the future, you will have another one to go to. Um, if you love and support my channel, of course. And anyway, so... Um, I guess this will be my kind of my intro video to this new channel. Gaslit Free Muse 2. I was going to call it Gas Gaslit... Muse Risen, but I was like, ah, that's just too much, and it's kind of weird, but I was thinking of Risen, like I've risen from the dead, I thought it'd be cute, or Jesus, you guys think of Jesus, um, so, huh, I always have so much I want to share. I probably should do notes and stuff. I do once in a while, but not always. Uh, I like to wing it. And sometimes I, I flow really well, and other times not so much. But I don't edit. And actually, I just found an app. I'm going to try it and see if I can start making some really cool videos. Um, I'm not technical, really, but, you know, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. But anyway, what am I going to try to tell you guys? Um, so you're born, okay? You're born. You're born into this world. And you're just bombarded with information from your parents, from your grandparents, from school, from, I mean, you know, right when you're born, you're a baby, right? You know, you're just being bombarded with all kinds of thoughts and ideas and stuff. <clears throat> and deciphering how to maneuver through this world and I mean the, the, what I'm talking about is is from where I'm at now in my life like I don't I just oh gosh I do this all the time I don't get it I don't get why it's gone on I don't care what everybody out there wants to say about why it's gone on I, I still don't get it I mean, you can say it, it doesn't make sense, okay? I don't care, um, this whole duality thing, all this stuff, all of these religions, all this political stuff. I mean, I would just like to have been born and make up my own mind about everything. You know, you got all these people influencing you in your life. I mean, everybody. I'm an influencer too. And I'm not trying to take anybody off of their their path, okay? I'm not trying... Well, I guess I am. I shouldn't say things like that. If you're on a path of destruction, meaning like you're going to get hurt, of course, I don't want anybody to have that. Now, I don't necessarily have the answers, and I know this. But what I have a problem with and what I think most of us truthers have a problem with is the it's this it's this narcissistic sociopathic air that's around always 
it's just always there. And, you know, I went through the phase where I was thinking I, for a while I was a narcissist. I really did. I mean, I've done some dumb stuff in my life, but um, I, I, I've always had empathy. I've never understood how people cannot empathize with other people. Oh man, I just wish, I wish for love so bad. Like, I mean, I'm talking about love, like love, 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 love. I don't have it in my life. Not really. Do you guys? I'm sure you do. Not all of you, but some of you do. And, and you know, that's awesome. But I, I really don't have love at all from, I have no friends or family or a, a, a man and if I was a lesbian, a woman, I know that will bother some people, me even saying something like that. Such a depressing life, man. And I know you can be positive. You know, when I was really into the whole new age thing, when I worked with my shaman, I was feeling like I was on cloud nine quite a bit. You know, I was still kind of lonely because I, I've had nothing but narcissistic men in my life, and it's just the way it's been. Every guy I've ever gone out with has been an, a narcissist, or something's wrong, or we're just not compatible, or whatever. But um, but most of the time, highly narcissistic. And then to be born into the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses, which is what I was always talking about in my older videos. Um, they're... Now, if, if you're new to my channel, you won't you won't know all this stuff because <laughs> my history has been deleted. Um, I do have like probably, I don't know, 15 old videos that are still on my phone. I could probably upload again, but then I'm wondering if I should because I have no idea what the video was that they, uh, I, you know, you got a picture on your phone or whatever, but. You don't have a title. I don't have a computer set up, so I don't, like, keep track of, like, a catalog or a, you know. I had my YouTube channel. It would just kept track of everything that way. I just, I, I, this, this shouldn't be hell. This should be paradise. And there shouldn't be, there shouldn't. I mean, I'm like wondering, do we actually have free will? I talk about that stuff too. There's so much to talk about. Do we have free will? Do we? Really? Like, I don't really see it. Like, yeah, we got a free will. I can decide to get up in the morning. I can, you know, either shower or not, go to the bathroom or not, uh, eat or not, watch TV or not, go to work or not, drive my car or not. I mean, I've got free will and like all of these little things around me in that kind of sense of the word. But to be, to have the ultimate free will, I guess I would say, um, the free will to not have anything preventing you from accomplishing what you want within your own personal limitations without any other outsider trying to limit you to the point where you're destitute is what I'm talking about. I don't see how you have free will in this dimension. If there's the powers that be that dictate how you live your life and how you move and, and what you think and what you wear and what you eat and what you put Everything, every type of chemical and everything out there has been designed for us. We have no choice in what is given to us. I don't know when. It's just always been this way. And I think it's always going to be this way. I know there's tons of people out there who th have such positive thoughts on the subject matter. And I do too. I go back and forth. You know, I always go back and forth. And 
It's kind of almost sounds like I'm bipolar or something. But you know what? How could you not be bipolar in this world when you wake up? I mean, even if you're not awake, it's like, how could you not? You got people pulling at you left and right. You got, oh man, it's just, it breaks my heart all the time. It breaks my heart that someone can just come along and just take something away from you. There's a set, there's a, I know you guys all know about Ted talk and I used to love watching Ted talk. There's a lot of um, things that I used to like watching that I don't watch anymore. And I still watch some things, but it's like mostly for like, you know, investigative reporting <laughs> type of stuff. But I, I mean, I, there was several, um, people that showed up on the Ted talks that have talked about narcissism and, and, and rape and, and how to, to make men treat women better. I mean, there has been really empowering stuff about either people even leaving cults. There was a woman who used to be a Jehovah's witness that was on Ted talk and she was talking about her experience and I think she became an atheist or something, which typically when you leave the Jehovah's Witness religion, you most of the time you, a lot of people become atheists. Some people become a Christian. Some people, um, well, any kind of belief really. But I, I think a lot of percentage of people become agnostic and atheistic because um, <clears throat> you're just blown away by the deception from that cult. And I don't even know if some people, when they wake up about the cult, actually know about the the, the history behind the cult, the Freemason stuff. Um, so anyway, TED Talk. There was uh, two, uh, I guess, episodes. Uh, one was about blood, and then another one was about... Um, Oh, what was it? Let's see. One was blood. Oh, and the other one was on red shoes. And this woman comes out in high heels and it was all about the red shoes. And I'm not going to talk too much about this because I don't want to be censored right now. I mean, I'm trying to get it going again. Jeez. <laughs> it's like a... Everything is a battle, always, always. N nothing is easy. Nothing is free. Everything is... Life doesn't have to be constant struggle. Like, constantly? It, it just seems like it is. It's a constant struggle. I'll get a little bit of break here and there, you know. If, oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. And then... Uh, Really? Again? Now, if you were, when I was the old new age person, I would have gone, Oh, well, there's something new around the corner that's better for me. <laughs> and that may be. But I was constantly, you know, <laughs> feeling like that. And I get, you know, I guess it's a good way to live, but I feel it's highly delusional. But to go around and just act like everything's fairy dust and cream puff cakes and I don't know, my little pony and <laughs> and it's not it's not and so much of the the beauty of what we could have in this world has never been given to us and it was our birthright. Every one of us came out of our mamas to experience something enjoyable. And I would say on a regular basis, whether it's learning something, growing. I mean, you don't, you don't, I don't know. People say when you, if you believe in reincarnation, you remember when you chose to come here, you chose that family, you chose those you, you have a soul path. You, all of this stuff is what they talk about. And then 
And well, in the Christian, you know, you don't remember anything and you're just born. Um, and I don't actually know when the actual, uh, when you talk about abortions and stuff, I'm, I was talking to a friend the other day and I'm like, um, what, uh, when is your actual soul in the embryo? Is it right when the sperm hits the egg? Is it when it starts to cluster and separate? Or when you have your brain is functioning? I mean, like what, where, and how do you determine where the soul enters the body? And I'm not talking about this for the reasons for abortion. I was just talking about it because I'm just curious. When does the soul enter into that fetus? Okay, what, what, <laughs> split second? I don't know. And I, I don't think any of you will know the answer to that question. It's kind of a, I don't know, hypothetical or rhetorical question. You don't have to answer it. But I just wondered about that. I've thought about that. I've thought about so much stuff since this whole <sighs> malarkey started. Um, okay, so another thing I want to talk about, I mean, I'm just throwing a lot of random stuff at you guys to, to get my channel going again. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about was um, how they censor. I'm still not really understanding this. Is it your words that you say? Is it, which I know that's true, words matter in when they... Uh, decide to censor your channel you know or that video um or is it like even the title because i was just looking up i just typed in a certain word um I, I, there's this one youtuber i like how she does it she's she she muffles things but she turns it into something like instead of saying um baphomet she'll say baffity boo <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is so adorably cute. Um, but she's she's got it down, man. She's got it down to like a kind of an art, a science. She's, and it's just cute and funny. Um, but but anyway, like okay, so I was just I just typed in a certain word on the YouTube thing, a word that certain words that we're not allowed to say because the uh, powers that be. Consider them, um, oh, what's, what did they, what did they tell me? I was being, um, I was being a bully by saying this certain word. How is that being a bully? I don't get it. I don't know how I am being a bully. I don't know how I'm being, um, abusive. I don't know how, you know, when they talk about a certain thing that goes into your body that they want to give us, Um, they would always put up like a CDC thing, you know, or something or say, you know, say that it goes against CDC guidelines or whatever. Um, I wonder if it was my, uh, Queen Elizabeth video that I did that got deleted. <laughs> I could, no, no, that was granny tranny. No. <laughs> See, I'm probably gonna, you know, I'm not, I just don't think I'm, made, I'm cut out for this. Seriously, I, I, my brain doesn't know how to filter for extended periods of time. I just, I just don't know how to do it. But anyway, I love you guys and I'm so mad because I've lost so many people that I actually was starting to bond with. I'm gonna have to probably reach out to these people somehow or figure out how to find them because I mean I liked them I wanted to get to know them we were starting to build a cool little tribe on my channel and um, you know people come and go yes but uh, it's it just felt nice and homey and supportive and I, I felt love and friendship from a lot of these subscribers it was it was beautiful and I appreciated it and prayers and thoughts with with me and for them and you know it just it felt nice you know it was like our own little church our own little tribe um we need that and i need that i started this channel to help me but to also help you guys and then and it just like dude whoa when i found out what was really going on i'm like oh my goodness okay 
I don't really think I'll be talking about just basic narcissism and and uh, cult, <laughs> basic cult and narcissism mentality. No, this is so much bigger. And um, but anyway, it really does bother me though because there's a ton of YouTubers out there who have channels and videos. And I don't know how they're not getting deleted because they talk about a lot of the same stuff that I do. It, it feels personal. And I, I do take a lot of things personal. But when people say don't take things personally, I, I always hate that expression, don't you? It's such a horrible expression. It should never have come into existence. When you're talking about a person and their being, it's personal. <laughs> Maybe it's not unfair, but it's still personal. Jeez. You know, it's like someone says, well, it's not personal that I chose that person to date over you. Well, it is personal. You wanted that person. They didn't want you. They wanted someone else. How is that not personal? It's very personal. Or if you go to apply for a job and they give it to someone else because you're not as qualified, maybe, or you're not as pretty, or you're not as smart, or you're not whatever the BS is. Um, it may be what it is it is what it is but it's still personal i mean the, the human language the way that we as people have allowed this crap from these people out there to influence us i i, I just wanted i want to get away from it completely i'm seriously ostracizing myself from the this like i'm doing it to me i don't want to be around it at all and yet i want love and i want friendship and i want a family <laughs> i had it at one time but it was awful and it was hell and it was in a cult and it was just not no but now that i'm awake and i understand how what is going on i want to find people who are like me like-minded who uh who care about their neighbors you don't, I, I, and I genuinely, I want to tell you, I don't know exactly what God wants. And I say this in all my older videos that you have, weren't able to see if you're new to this channel. I don't want to be preached at by anybody. I'm going to just make this perfectly clear. I am a student of truth and, a, and I believe in a higher power. I don't know. I can't. No, I'm not going to. I won't. <laughs> just I'm not uh, and you know a lot of the spiritual people out there channels that talk about it that are not you know of the Christian belief mentality they do talk about Jesus and a lot of people who are of like say I know you guys don't like it but the new age I'm talking like you guys are the same old people <laughs> on my channel before <laughs> The New Age people will talk about Ascended Masters. They'll say Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad. Or I don't know if they say Muhammad. They have like a several names of people you would have heard of. And I'm not an expert on any of these subject matters. The only one I, I knew was being raised a Jehovah's Witness and, and knowing what the Jehovah's Witnesses believed. And then I started studying more about what Christians believed. And then I went through my atheist phase and my new age phase. I went through them all. And right now where I'm at spiritually is that I see the deceptions. I see all the darkness. I see that I'm a spiritual light being. And I, I, I believe in a higher power. And I just pray and hope that I am on the right path. And that's all I can do. I, I'm not going to buy into any belief systems anymore because everything out here has been under a form of mind control. I don't, I, you can say whatever you want, but I'm telling you, there's just been so much deception. I don't need you to save my soul. Okay. Don't worry about me like that. I, I, I it, it breaks my heart for you guys to worry about me like that. I, I'm, I'm a good person and I'm trying to be a good person. I'm not living an evil sinful debaucherous life and according to a lot of what i feel i don't agree with a lot of the uh what is considered a debauchery first of all i don't believe in marriage if you that god ordained marriage i think that's a man-made thing um if you want to get married cool if you don't fine i believe in love and monogamy 
but I do not believe that you need a piece of paper to bind you to someone who could turn out to be a complete nightmare one day that you, whatever, you know, I, I just don't want to get into that either. That's not really important. So anyway, um, yeah, so the topics I talk about are everything that has in history influenced our life and where we are at now, whether it's spirituality, whether it's sexuality, whether it's science, medicine, just what is truth and what, if you're being told lies, you should know about it and not, and withholding truth is also lying in my opinion too. And there's a lot of people out there that do that too, but this is also talking about something that's not of just individual people. This is something bigger, but anyway, I love you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy my channel and I'm looking forward to getting into the editing stuff, which I'm going to do. All right. We'll take care. Talk to you later. Bye.